We now have high enough energy that if you converted up this pocket of energy into mass equals mc squared, you get enough mass to create particles out of. Take a, an electron, for example. That's very low mass. How much energy does it take to make an electron? If you don't have that much energy around you, your energy will never become a particle. In the early universe, there was so much energy, every particle could be made. Only way we know that can happen is if, if it becomes a particle and an antiparticle pair, matter and antimatter. Every particle has an antiparticle. So you might say, well, what's the opposite charge of a neutron? You look at what the neutron is made of, it's made of quarks that have fractional charges that cancel each other. So an anti-neutron has all those same quarks, but the antimatter version of those quarks. If you take matter and antimatter and put them together, they annihilate and become pure energy and the matter disappears entirely. That happens all the time in the center of the sun. It happened everywhere in the early universe.